Hey again, it's about to be spring. And when spring comes, it can either be cold some days and hot some days. I live in the South, you know? So in winter time, it sometimes it's hot. Sometimes it's hot when it's supposed to be snowing, but it's not snowing because it's the summer and it's bipolar. So sometimes I need my fan. I need my fan blowing. And the issue is that I have to manually plug this in, uh, turn it all the way on, one, two, three, and then turn it off when the weather decides to get cold again. So I'm tired of this. I don't want to deal with this anymore. You know, this is what robots are for. This is why we have our Raspberry Pis, our Arduinos, and our robots that we're building, you know? How could the robot uprising come when we don't have automatic fans going? Come on now. So today, we're going to be working on an automatic fan when the temperature gets too hot. <laughs> so what we'll be using is a Dallas temperature sensor. We'll be using a TP-Link wireless plug because I don't want to hook a relay up to a mains right now. And then we're gonna be using, of course, our Raspberry Pi. Our first goal is hooking up our temperature sensor to our Raspberry Pi. So let's get that started. Let's figure out how we're gonna hook this up first and see if we can get some readings going. So we have 4.7 thousand ohm resistor on the rightmost pin. We have it hooked up to the middle pin. So we're gonna put the rightmost pin hooked up to the Raspberry Pi's 3.3 volt power. And then we're gonna put the leftmost pin to ground. And then last but not least, we just have to hook up the middle pin over to pin, we're gonna use in pin four. But that's the final configuration. Okay, so here's our code. We have first we're getting the base directory, which is sys bus w1 devices. And if we go here, we can go to cd slash sys slash bus slash w1 slash devices. And when we come here, we'll see a list. We'll see this list of 20, we'll see a number like 28. I'm assuming that all of these devices will have the number 28 um, because that's what the the article I was reading, that's what they, they said 28 as well. So I'm assuming that all of these type of devices will be 28. So you can go to CD into the 28 directory and then you'll see this file called w1 underscore slave. So if we cat w1 underscore slave, we'll see right here, there's a bunch of little scribble scrabble, but this is what's most important is T equals 24312. So that's the temperature. The temperature is 24,312. You just divide that by 1,000 and you get your Celsius. And I think that's probably around like 76, 75 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So that's our Celsius. So that's how to read it. And, that's, and this is what our code is going to do. So we come to the code. It's going to go to that directory. It's gonna get the folder, see it has a 28 star in it. So I'm assuming these devices will be 28 stars. So it's gonna get the first one it finds with 28. Uh, if you follow along, um, I doubt you'll have multiple ones, but if you only have one, then this should work. If you have multiple ones, you gotta figure out which one is your um, temperature sensor. So I have this variable last state, um, just so I'm not triggering the on and off switch over and over again. So we read the temperature raw. So we're gonna get the file, we're gonna open the file and then read the raw lines from the file. So we'll get that line where we're looking for the T equals 24312, that's what we want. So we're gonna read that file and then we're gonna strip and go through each line. And if we find something in that line, we're gonna try to find T equals. And when we find T equals, that's temperature. We're gonna parse through that and right here is the most important part. Well, we're dividing by a thousand to find the Celsius, and then we're getting the Fahrenheit. So right here is the most important part. If temperature is greater than 76 degrees, I'm in America, so we go by Fahrenheit. Don't ask why. Yeah, if temperature is greater than 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and the last state is false. So, and not last state, so, and false. So, 
that's when we're gonna run, we're gonna, first we're gonna set last state equals true, and then we're gonna run this TP-Link Smart Home API that I found, uh, it's a node package. It's also bundled as a CLI as well, so I thought that would be pretty neat, and we don't have to do a lot of work. I didn't wanna use the, um, the TP-Link API, and then have to get a token and stuff, because I like to keep things local, and kinda, you know, kinda like to myself, I have a lot of devices, I don't like having a bunch of things out there. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna use this API, which uses UDP. So it's gonna be all local. We're gonna be triggering our device all locally. Um, so it'll be just like if we made our relay. Our relay would have been local as well. So yeah, so we're gonna set the power state and we're gonna set it to true, which is this one. Uh, I have my IP in a, in a config file. So I'm pulling this config file up here from config import star. So if you pull in this code, you're gonna have to pull, you're gonna have to set your IP. You can also find your IP by going, by using this package. Let me show you the package. So it's TP-Link Smart Home API um, on GitHub. It's pretty cool. Like you can search, I'm about to show you how to search really quick and how to send different different um, things that you want for your plugs and bulbs. So we can go TP-Link uh, Smart Home API and then search. Yeah, so there's gonna search and find your API. So, all right, so let's get started. Right now, let's try to figure out where we're at right now. Let's cat the W1 underscore slave. So right now we're right around 24 degrees Celsius. Um, let's run our code so we can convert that to Fahrenheit. Can't do it in my head. But um, come to temperature, and then we're gonna run Python, and then we're gonna run temp.py. Now I'm gonna bring the fan up here because the fan's probably gonna turn on because I'm I'm pretty sure it's above 76 degrees right now. So yeah, so you see on the screen, temperature is at 76.325 right now. So we're gonna raise the 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 threshold to 78 at least, and just so we can get something in real time. Um, let's set that to 78. So yeah, so we're gonna run this now, and now the threshold is at 78. So right now you see the Fahrenheit's at 77, and right now the fan's off. So I'm gonna go turn the heat up so we can watch this in real time turn on. All right, now we wait, and we'll turn, we'll put it, we'll put it high as well. So when it's ready to turn on, you'll see it blowing. Um, what can I say? Oh, we could have used a lighter, of course, like, but I want to show you guys, like, we're using the the surrounding heat right now to turn this on. <laughs> so right now you see it's still flashing 77.225. It's gonna get to 78, it's gonna get to 78. I just turned it up to like 84. So it's gonna get to 78 <laughs> pretty soon. And we'll do a little time skip because I don't want you guys waiting this whole time. Or you can talk to my cat. Lumi. All right, you know what, forget it. We're just gonna use a lighter, because right now it looks like it's fluctuating between 77, low 77 and, hot, and mid 77. And now the heater's turning off. So we have our lighter, and we're just gonna light up right near it. Guys, hear that? So the fan turned on because we had the light in. Right now we're at like 78.916. All right, so that's perfect. So the lighter worked and it should cool down pretty soon as well. There's too much noise going on right now. Let me go turn off the heater. Heater's off. We're gonna turn the fan low so that when the, when the temperature does drop pretty soon, Will you'll see a turn off as well? Yeah, I want to wait. I think it'll I think it'll be pretty quick because we use a lighter, so it heated it up really quick. So another time skip until this <laughs> cools down. Oh, it looks like it's cooling down right now. One second. This is like the Super Bowl. I hated that. I hated waiting for a touchdown for the Super Bowl. It took so long. Things are so unpredictable when it's not in your control. You know, I could I you had a lighter. That was perfect. Oh, what if I got ice? Okay, so now we have our ice. Let's put the ice right around here. All right, maybe that won't work. All right, ice didn't work. 
So now we're still waiting. We're at 78.23. I'm getting bored, just waiting. Oh, let me tell you guys about one of the projects I was working on. So I told you guys about a project um, on one of my updates, my video updates that I was working on about Harry Potter. And um, it, someone ended up doing it. Someone ended up doing it like three days ago, four days ago. I was so mad. I need to I see, I don't procrastinate. It's not that I procrastinate. They said I have so many ideas going on at the same time that I work on one thing, that I'm working on another thing, and working on another thing. I work on too many things at once. And a lot of my projects, they're usually one like one day, a few hour projects. I don't really prepare a lot. So yes, yeah, so I need to I need to get at it. I need to stop procrastinating because someone's gonna take my ideas. I'm be mad. Three hours later. Nice! It finally turned off. Is that 78? Is that 77.9 right now? So that's perfect. All right, it turned off. We're back in action. You see the fan turned off. Um, do we want to do this one more time? Do we want to put a lighter and then turn it on? Let's put a lighter. All right, so I just put the lighter near the thermostat, ther thermostat sensor, ther thermal sensor. Thermal sensor, I put the light in a thermal sensor and went back up to 78.125. So we got it working, it's working perfectly. So now I won't have to worry about these things in this bipolar uh, southern weather. You know, sometimes it gets hot, sometimes it gets cold. So now I can be sitting on my computer and just like worrying about what I need to be worrying about instead of worrying about the weather. That's not something I wanna worry about, ever. I'm gonna see you all pretty soon. I have a really good idea that I wanna work on coming up next. Normally I buy my sensors from eBay so they're cheap and I get them from China and they take like two, three months, but I have this really cool idea. I don't know if it will work, but it's so cool and I couldn't find any information about it online. So <laughs> it has, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with a cat. <laughs> it has something to do with my cat. But it's really cool and I haven't seen it done yet. So we're gonna see if this works. And I bought sensors from Amazon so it comes in two days instead of three months. I'm excited. But yeah, see y'all next time. Oh, I have a motto, y'all. I have a motto. I finally have a motto. It's, um... <laughs>